Hey, Jen. Hey. Where are we going? <gasps> we're going to Disney World. We're going to go. We're staying just one night. This is our first foray into like actual hotel rooms. Yes. So after doing a little bit of research, I feel safe because all of the air conditioners are per room. So the air conditioner just circulates the air inside of the room and it's not pulling air from anywhere else. And even if it was, a person with the virus would have to stand where it's pulling air from for like an hour. Well, I think we've just, since everything has happened, we've learned so much more about like the viral load versus the space that you're in versus the amount of time that you're in that space. So I think we've just, we've gotten more information. So we feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. So we're going to go stay at Bay Lake Tower. And we have theme park view. Should we're be pretty nice. We've never stayed there ever. Right. So this is like a first and we can walk to the park. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we love it. So we're heading there right now. Let's go. All right. Here we are at the Contemporary Resort Hotel. And we are going to be going to that tower straight ahead of us, Bay Lake Tower. There it is, Bay Lake Tower, right next to the Contemporary. And Magic Kingdom is right back there. That crane is for the Tron construction, although we can't see any other aspects of Magic Kingdom. Actually, I can see Cinderella Castle through the trees. I don't know if you all can, but I can. Also, Bay Lake Tower has its own parking lot. So the Contemporary parking lot is kind of out in front of the Contemporary. But Bay Lake Towers is over here, so you're pretty close to the actual tower. Is the monorail coming? Thought I heard the monorail coming. I got excited. Oh, it is. There it is. Hi, buddy. Monorail. Look at that. Can you see it? There's a train in the sky, buddy. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> he had like a half a second of a smile. Oh, uh, we did bring his mattress for the pack and play as well so that he has like a more comfortable sleep. Yeah. I feel like we probably brought too much stuff. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, we're headed inside Bay Lake Tower. And they're all decorated for the Christmas time. All right, we're getting into our elevator. We're going up to the 12th floor. Ooh, I'm gonna hit the button. Yeah, please. We did it. So we did ask them for a roll away crib. We'll see if we get one. If not, we have a pack and play mattress. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look out the window. That's quite a view. Oh, oh my God. This is real nice. Yeah, it is. This is the DVC pool because Bay Lake is a DVC resort. You can see the Orlando icon out there, the giant Ferris wheel on the horizon. All right, so here we are, 8226. That's our number. Do it. Magic bends it up. We did it. Feels good that there's nobody else around right now. All right, we are inside the room. Let's have a look around. Something that I really like that Disney's been doing on their resorts and all of their remodels is they've been putting a little ledge here so that if you come home at the end of the night and you have a place to put your keys or your magic yeah. band or whatever and you know exactly yeah. where it's at. Yeah. Right, buddy? Oh, yeah. So this also is an adjoining room. You can get both rooms. Yeah. We just have one room yeah. right now. So let's yeah. see what's inside this cabinet right or this closet right here. Nothing? I love it. But there is a basket there. Okay. But nothing else in here at the moment. This, like we said, each unit has its own air conditioner. So this is the air conditioner for just us. And as soon as you walk in, there's a bathroom to your right. Nice little sink here. It's got a hair dryer underneath and has a shower. I like that spigot. The one thing I like about these tubs too is they're so low, so they're easy to give your kids a bath in. Yeah, but they don't hold very much water either yeah. though. Another thing that I was gonna mention that I don't love, but I understand why they did it, is all of the newer like renovated stuff, they have these like the barn door doors. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's not as quiet. So like if you're going to the bathroom, people can hear you, you know what I mean? Oh, like. I thought you meant it's not as quiet, closing it. No, you're I talking mean, about like, like you, can, you can hear what's going on in the bathroom. Um, I get why they do it for space, but I don't love it. I think it looks really nice. Here, I you just, go inside the bathroom. You can take your mask off. We're inside the room. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had it on. Isn't that so weird about the masks? It's like you forget that you're even wearing them. Like, I'm so used to them now. You um, go inside and keep talking like okay. you're Ace Ventura. Okay. Ah, ah, Wait, did you stop? 
<laughs> oh, okay. So don't don't stop this time. Okay, really do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you can hear everything through there. Yeah. So that's. I think it looks really nice. It's very like modern, but I just wish it was like a little bit quieter. But uh, but yeah. Sorry, that was just your minute with Jen. <laughs> and then as we turn from the bathroom to our left, this is the main area. But before we get there we turn even further to our left, there is a stackable washer and dryer because when you're staying at a DVC, they're expecting you to stay a little bit longer. So you, they give you a washer and dryer. And then we get to this. I think this is my favorite part. We're coming in to the main area here. Let me try to back up and show you all like a long shot of it. What an amazing space. Right, buddy? The windows are so big and you can see like everything. I love this living room. It's so nice. So first thing we've got is like a, a kitchen table with some Space Mountain artwork, some Space Mountain pop art behind it. That's really cool. And I think that this can be moved out of the way. Yeah, this one's detached. Okay. And then a little like entertainment style center with some drawers and stuff. There's nothing in the drawers because you would use those for the people that are sleeping in here. So this is a bed and this is a bed. So you can sleep three more people in this area right here. And it's, it's kind of a lot of space. It really is a lot of space. This is awesome. I love this. And then there's the kitchen. So you have a pretty good sized refrigerator, uh, sink, toaster, coffee maker, dishwasher, microwave, range, and oven. What's this? It's like a little teeny tiny drawer. <laughs> I think it's like that pantry drawer. Well, it's like a spice rack. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, oh, garbage disposal? I don't know where the, oh, the switch is probably there. What's this other switch here for? <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, under cabinet lighting. It's pretty really nice. Also inside of all of the cabinets is whatever you would need, cups, plates, I don't know where the, oh, there's more drawers over here. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Silverware. Where do you think the trash can is? Underneath the sink? Yeah. Like I said, dishwasher, range. Oh, there's another one of these things too. Ooh. Wow. That's where all your snacks go. It's true. This is kind of strange. What do you think that's about? It's probably like heat protected. Okay. Because it, it looks like this is behind that. Uh, Maybe it got messed up somehow. And they're like, just put a, a piece of black Formica on it. <laughs> There's also a little island with two bar stools. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, there's the enhanced cleaning uh, procedures that they have done due to COVID-19. Lots and lots more cleaning. All of the remotes are sanitized and placed in bags. <laughs> And then from here, oh, I should show you the view yeah, first. Well, I was going to say, can we go out on the balcony? Yeah, we can, but we'll do that from the bedroom. But you should, you should show them that you can get to the balcony from the living room too. Yeah, right through that door right there. But this is our view wow. of uh, this place over here. We don't, I don't know what that is. Something. But this over here is the rest of the contemporary. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Magic Kingdom is right there. Space Mountain is real close. You I can see believe, Tron. Yeah, like I didn't think that the view was going to be this. I didn't think we were going to be this close to the parks. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. So when we were originally, oh, monorail. When we were originally trying to plan out where we were going to stay today, we were either going to stay in the main contemporary building or here. I thought that the view would seem closer from the main contemporary building because you're out further. But I think we have a closer view here. I just think like so. just being here. Uh, also, there's our Christmas tree for the contemporary, and that'll be lit up tonight. And we'll show you that once the sun goes down. Another thing too, though, is that if we look this way, you can see Everest at Animal Kingdom way over there. Wow. Man, this right. is so cool. It really is. I never thought we would be able to stay at the contemporary or at Bay Lake Tower either, either place. I never thought we'd be able to stay here. So it's just, even just for one night, like this is honestly, I love this. Yeah, and we actually got a pretty darn good deal through the Florida, Florida resident offer right now. They also have, so if you're not a Florida resident, they have one that was called the Something Magic offer, and it was for like Georgia, Alabama, 
um, like the southern states, which okay. I thought was really interesting. So they're not just showing love to like the Florida residents. They're they're trying to give everybody a deal, which is awesome. Yeah. Oh. You did oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh. It smells like magic out here. This is great. Look at that, there's Cinderella Castle right there. This is really neat because you can make out all kinds of stuff. I can see the people mover there in Tomorrowland. Space Mountain. What else can I see? Oh, there's there's a Bell's Castle back there. We can see Big Thunder, we can see Splash Mountain. Is that Astro Orbiter? Yeah. Oh. So Astro Orbiter is right here, spinning. Really good view of Tron. Yeah, we do. You can see they are almost done with the structure for the covering that goes over top of the entrance there. Monorail! Yeah, monorail. And you can hear all the ferry boats coming across too. And for us to get to Magic Kingdom, we just have to walk right through there. And there's our bag check. And then we continue on to front entrance. You can see the train station right there. Oh, and you can see the Christmas tree. And you can see the Magic Kingdom Christmas tree. All right, yeah, let's go inside and see the rest of the unit. Really this fun. is the bedroom right here. Ooh. Where are we going, buddy? Say, Dada, we're going to the bedroom. So as soon as you come into the bedroom, it's still the giant window view there. I like there's these like coat hooks on the wall here. Yeah. For you to hang up your, your coat on a cold floor today. <laughs> it is supposed to get a little bit chilly tonight, so. So as soon as you walk into the bedroom, is the main bathroom nice little jacuzzi tub here with a pass-through window oh, so yeah, that you can open. see there you go oh it's not very easy to open it's a nice mirror yeah it's pretty pretty like uh cool design work in here there's only one sink but lots of countertop space mm-hmm and then... Oh, and does this have... This has the jets, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Hopefully. <laughs> we, we have a hard time with places... Or with coming to resorts and the jets not working. I think that only two of them have worked. Yeah. And and that was only because we had to call and they had to come and fix them. Yeah. So that's an issue at some of the resorts. But once they come and they fix them, they're really great. This is another one of those barn doors. Jackson was trying to close this in. Can you do it? Close it. Dad in there. Oh no, bye Jackson. And then as we, oh hello, how's it going? Oh, hello. Oh. How's it going? Hello. <laughs> Say hi dad. Hi buddy. <laughs> and then as we turn in this direction, this is the, where the commode is. And then also where the shower is. I like this weird shower head in here. It's cool looking, but there's also a rainfall shower head from the ceiling. And then there's a little bench in there for you to sit down on after a long day at the parks. And then you can see them in there. Yeah. Oh, this is something I should show. Uh, the, the doors have a lock on this end over here. So this is how you lock the bathroom door. You can kind of see somebody like tried to, didn't, didn't remember that they locked it. It's a little bit bent out of shape. There's also a closet here. I don't know if you showed this. No, I haven't yet. I put his uh, little pack and play mattress in there. Oh. And that's the safe. That's where the safe is and where the iron and ironing board is. And then there's a little, this is a little bit smaller TV. Nice little desk over here for you to do your, your computer work. I don't know what this is for. I think this is like you can put your suitcase here and then there's a drawer underneath. Okay. So there's like just a little, oh, geez. And then some more drawers. I also have this thing. So that if you wanted to, you could hook up like your computer D you could hook up your computer HDMI or like your PC Yay. and watch it on the TV. And then this looks like a king size bed. I think so, yeah. I'm not seeing any outlets on the side though. Like, where do you plug your phone in? Oh, okay, there's an outlet down there. What about on the other side? Is there an outlet on this side? Oh, there is, okay. Ooh, four outlets. Living the high life. And that's it, that's the whole room. 
Do you want to show them the... Oh, oh the sorry. balcony? Yeah, we are. Sorry, there was another another entrance to the balcony right there. But this is it. All right, buddy. You got the run of the place. Whoa. Do it to it. Yeah. <laughs> you going to take everybody on your own tour? Baby's tour of Bay Lake Tower? Open it this way, bud. Let him open it. Well, I don't... See if he knows how to do it. He doesn't. He's like, Dad, I am baby. Now? It's time for me to head out and try to get some treats from Contempo Cafe. I've never done this before. I've never taken the elevator down to go across this bridge. I don't know what floor that's on. Hopefully it'll have a sign telling me so that I can get over there and get to Contempo Cafe, which is in the main building over there. Also, it's raining now. All right, there's a little sign in here that says the Skyway Bridge is located on the fifth floor, so that's where I'm headed to. Oh yeah. This is a great place to watch the fireworks too, but I do know that this gets crowded. Uh, actually, there's no fireworks going on right now, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we've made it over to the main building for the Contemporary. And just like that, we're over at Contempo Cafe. So Contempo Cafe is all mobile ordering. So we already put our order in, and then I said we're here before I even left the room. So we've already got some of the waiting out of the way, but out front, they have some display items for some of the stuff that they have. So they have the Cinderella cupcake, and the cookies and cream cupcake and this one has a little monorail on the side i think these are neat you can get a white chocolate mickey figurine they also have a white chocolate mini figurine here too build your own gingerbread kit we thought about doing this but we're not uh i don't i don't know if we'll be able to do it because it would just sit in the car and then probably melt when we leave tomorrow I think we got the linzer cookie, a yule log, a chocolate peppermint yule log, a gingerbread boy cookie, chocolate peppermint cookie, peppermint bark. I'm excited for this chocolate peppermint cookie. Oh, and they have some pictures over here. A white chocolate cake, and then the chocolate cake. Oh man. All right, so I'm back. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't show my trip back because my hands were full. Side note. We had planned to go to Magic Kingdom tonight. It's looking pretty rough out there. I think we're gonna maybe try to go later when the lights are on on the castle. They yeah. do like the projection. It's not really a show, but it's kind of a show. Yeah. But not really a show, but we haven't seen it yet. So we wanna go see it. So when it gets darker, hopefully we can do that if it's not raining too bad. Yeah, we'll see. But we're trying to be a little bit quiet too because Jackson's napping, so. Yeah, but we did get some food. Yes. I got the turkey club those chips are so delicious i got the fries which i wish i'd gotten the chips now because the fries <laughs> are a little lackluster it's kind of sad and i got the spicy chicken sandwich as a spicy remoulade some pickles and some feta and lettuce Ooh. and tomato looks pretty good grilled chicken um also now they have these things underneath like these little plastic trays which I don't like it. Like, I like the idea of keeping food separate, but I wish we didn't have plastic. Yeah, I think they can make them out of this, like this yeah, paper. Yeah, just make it out of paper. Oh. And then over there, yeah, yeah. we have so many treats. <laughs> My goodness. I think because we didn't go to the park because it was raining, we're like, what can we do? We can get some Christmas treats. So we didn't eat our treats yet. We just finished our food because we're going to go into Magic Kingdom real quick. Yeah, so... We're really excited because we saw that all of the lights were on, like the tree lights are on, the holiday lights on the, like down Main Street are on, but also the lights are on on the castle, the projections. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, oh yeah, that looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, and all the lights down Main Street and the Christmas tree there. Also, our little, con well I say little, this is a gigantic tree, the, the tree out in front of the contemporary. This is great. It feels so nice to be just like here at night. It's beautiful. And look at Space Mountain too. Space Mountain is so close. I feel like we could touch it. <laughs> Boop. All right, we've made it inside Magic Kingdom and I'll tell you, there's nothing more magical than the lights on the train station. What's happening here? <laughs> nice rainy night. People are all leaving the Magic Kingdom. We still got about an hour and a half of park time. I think we need to get our umbrellas out though. I feel like we showed up at the perfect time because it seems like everybody's leaving right now. We'll be here for a little bit mm -hmm. and then we'll be here by ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> or close to it maybe. Well, yeah. We, uh, we thought we should get Jackson a silhouette because we all had them when we were kids. Look at this one has a mask on. 
2020. Oh yeah, the look at the words are lit up. Yeah, everything's lit up. Wow. This is neat. Yeah. It's like a Argyle sweater, like an ugly Christmas sweater. I love this. This is awesome. It has good kinetics. Things are moving around on it. So many little details everywhere. And it really does look like a sweater. Like you can see the weave pattern. This is fantastic. And then over here on the turrets too. I'm just waiting for it to change. Does it change with every song? I don't know. Okay. I guess not. I missed it. Dang. I heard it and I had the camera on and I turned it on as quick as I like push record as quick as I could. Oh no, did you get any of the remnants? I got some of the remnants, yeah. <laughs> but now we have a new design on the castle. This is just like traditional Christmas. Almost looks like nutcrackers. Yeah, it totally looks like nutcrackers. These are fantastic. Wow. I feel like the new paint job really makes the projections pop. I feel like this design is the beginning of the shows. Like this is where it started because everybody left once this one showed up. Also, oh, okay. look. The projections go so far down the turrets, people are like walking through the projections. Oh, wow, yeah. So we can find out where the projector is. Oh, there it is back there. It's on top of Casey's, I think. I like this cast member with the green wand telling people about the curb that I fell off of, exactly where I fell off of it. <laughs> where was she when I fell? Oh, no. Also, it's kind of raining pretty hard. I like this, it's nice. Like, there's not really a show happening. But there's just kind of, does it, does it change every once in a while? Like it's There's like a sheen that happens. Oh, okay. I mean, this is great. It kind of puts you in the holiday spirit, you know? I feel like it's just enough that, you know what I mean? Because we, we were definitely missing something, not having the very Merry Christmas party. Yeah. And I feel like this is like just enough to make it like just that much more magical. I wonder, you know what I mean? do the cavalcades, like it's raining right now, so we're not going to get cavalcades. Do, do they still happen at night? I don't know. Look at this. Huh. <laughs> You're part of the show. You get it? I knew it was coming and it still frightened me. I saw your hand shake. I don't know what you would, maybe this is like wrapping paper? I like that there's a Christmas tree inside a Cinderella castle. Oh, there's, yeah, there's like a bow on it up there. And this one in particular spinning. So something that I thought was really cool is that the turrets are also being projected on. And I love this one. It looks like it's got almost like a tapestry hanging down off of it. Like, you know, like castles would have like their coat of arms or something like that. But it's a little Christmas tree. I can't get over how pretty this is. And I think Tim's right. I think the new paint job just makes the projections pop. And I don't know if it's because the paint job almost has like a luster to it, like a shimmer, but it looks amazing. Highly recommend coming out here at night and seeing this for yourself. This, this, is, this is really awesome. And all of the pyro are slightly different for each little projection on the castle. So this one here, it looks like wrapping paper, Tim said, which I think he's right. I think it does sort of look like a wrapping paper sort of a look to it. It'll have a different pyro than the last one that we saw. So cool. This one looks the most like the castle, just normal. Like when I'm looking through the camera screen, it just looks like a normal castle. But if you get a closer look at it, Oh, it changes too. This is neat. Hey, look, they're like colored. I don't know what the what the theme of this one is, but it looks so cool. I think maybe this is like snowflakes, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, it's almost like glittering. They yeah, like shimmers. That's cool. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see those details until I get right up on the castle, but that looks awesome. Yeah. So now we have seen all four projections I think we might call it a night though, because Jackson does have to get back to the room and go to sleep for the night. 
So I like it. I like the projections. They're cool. Yeah, I like them a lot. And I do think that people are being pretty good about staying like physically distant from each other. Yeah. I was sort of worried about that because I figured this would sort of like draw a little crowd, but people are still being pretty like respectful of everybody's space, which is great. Yeah. So to be fair, this time last year, it would have been shoulder to shoulder through here. Oh yeah. Although right now it does look fairly crowded. Better than last year. Dang, the, the colors here are so much better in person than they are on the camera. It's just so warm and inviting and Christmassy. It feels so nice. Made it into the Emporium. Lots and lots of the child stuff. I'm still not saying the name yet because I don't know if it's been spoiled for everybody or not. Is this like a pillow? I think it's a jacket or a blanket. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's a blanket that folds up into a little package. How much fun is that? For $125, they have a princess doll set from Ralph Breaks the Internet, and these are all of the different princesses in their, like, hip styles. It's pretty neat. I like how Moana has, like, a, like a boat drink. What are these? This is kind of neat. Is it like diaries or is this the, the book, like the actual story for? On their side of there it says baking spirit. Oh no, it's like a, it's a notebook. But it does have a, like a chapters thing in the front. This is kind of neat. Brilliant idea. That's neat, it's like a VHS. Like it's the actual size of a VHS. It feels like a VHS, but it's like a, a journal. Yeah. The things on the other side that I was just showing are like full out books. I saw that. Yeah, those are cool. And they're like, some of them have like little like locks and things. Yeah. They're neat. They have all the soul merchandise out. This is cool. Has soul even come out? Like do people know what the Half Note Jazz Club is? I think it, is it not out yet? I know people have seen it. I think they had screeners though. Oh, okay. This is awesome. I love this. Yeah, it's very cool. And then the cat, I don't know what the cat's name is. Oh, I like this thing. It's perfect because when you drink out of it, the ears poke you right in the eyes. <laughs> huh. Oh, is that his cat? Does the cat die? I think oh, that might be a spoiler, no. but I think so. What the, the cat, heck? The cat's also like the ghosty type. Yeah, cat. there's like there's like a little ghosty cat here. Who's this guy? Is he like a main character, the sign spinner? <laughs> we gotta watch the okay. movie. All right, Ooh, look at how beautiful it is down the street. I think that that's one of the things I love most about Main Street during Christmas, well, during any holiday really, is like how everything is just lit up, how bright everything is with the signs, the lights around the signs. It's awesome. Yeah. Did you see, did you show up the tree? Man, I do have to say, like it's fun to come to the park during the day, but I think it's really magical at night. Like it just, it has a different feeling at night. As we are on the way out, there are some characters up on the train station. It looks like we got Mary and Bert over here. What is Bert doing? Oh, he's playing the bells. Gotcha. And then we got Daisy. And then we got Pinocchio over here, doing the best Pinocchio dance I've ever seen. And then Geppetto. Uh, Alice and the Mad Hatter. I think this was just like the perfect trip into the park to just get a little bit of, you know, Christmassy cheer. We had such a good night though. I think this was just like, like you were saying earlier, coming at night is just totally different. You I know what I just realized? What? We still got treats back in the room. Ooh. <laughs> hey, buddy. You showing everybody your belly? <laughs> oh, no. You wearing your fun Christmas pajamas? Hey, I got on my Christmas pajamas, guys. Where are you going? Are you Where are you sliding going? away? You want to show everybody how you can walk in your jammies? Okay. Let's take that belly out. Show everybody your belly. Are you going to go wake up all the neighbors? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Here it comes, waking the neighbors time. No, bud. You got to be nice That's to the neighbors. Baby. Yeah. Doing Where so are we good. going? Where are we going? You're trying to get into the fridge? He's like, I know that there's frozen hot chocolate in there. Oh yeah, 
yeah, that's right. Mommy has frozen hot chocolate to eat. All right, so we're gonna put him to bed and we're gonna go get some dinner. Well, we're not. You're gonna go get some dinner from the wave. I have to wait until 8.20 and then I can go. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. A little well, bit of a wait. Well, let's put this little guy to bed. He's a little wiggle worm. And then we have something really fun to talk to you about. So, we were excited because Disney hasn't been having fireworks. Yeah. And recently, they sent out a little memo, like a little message to the people that live around Disney because they haven't been hearing fireworks. And they said, hey, just a heads up, tonight, we're going to test some fireworks at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, so we got this room and we got theme park view so that we could see the fireworks from the balcony. We're so excited. And as we were leaving the park tonight, we heard some of the security guards were like, hey, they're going to have fireworks tonight. I'm not joking. And the other guy was like, yeah, I know, at 1030. And we were like, it's real. <laughs> So hopefully it actually happens. Should. I'm nervous because Jackson's asleep now and I think the fireworks are going to wake him up. Hopefully they don't, but they might. We're going to turn his noise machine up really loud. So yeah. that that will maybe help. So, so hopefully soon we'll get to show you what the fireworks are. Right now we're going to eat dinner. Yeah, I'm starving. Still haven't <laughs> eaten our treats yet. Oh yeah. I got the pork tenderloin with, what is this, grits? Yeah, it had grits and broccolini and... Um, there was some kind of special sauce. Yeah, like a green sauce underneath it. Yeah. And you got a Caesar salad. <laughs> I got a Caesar salad. I got the crab cakes with a corn and veggie slaw. And then I got the pork belly bao buns with a spicy slaw. Pretty good. I like your fancy plates. Oh yeah, the plates are, they're kind of like not very practical, but they look cool. Now it's time for the treats. Look at this log. My favorite part is this little mushroom with like the dew drops on it. And then I don't know why, but on the menu, they call this a gingerbread boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a gingerbread boy. Chocolate peppermint cookie. That looks good. And then a lincer, which the, they said this is a hazelnut cookie with like a raspberry jam. They, everything looks really good. We forgot, forgot to talk about dinner. Oh, what did you think? Everything was really good. The only thing that I don't think was worth the price was the Caesar salad because it was like nine or ten bucks. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't have ordered that one again. It was, it was just, nine dollars. It was very basic. Um, but the bao buns, delicious, a little bit spicy, but really, really good. And then the, um, oh, and the pork belly was kind of like a shredded pork belly. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like sliced. Sometimes sliced pork belly can be chewy. This was not. It was shredded. It was delicious. It was easy to eat. And then the crab cakes were so good because there was very little filling. It was a lot of crab. Oh. So I was very happy with that. Nice. Yeah. Mine was pretty good. I, uh, the grits were like a smoky cheddar grits. And I like that. It kind of tastes like barbecue grits. The pork was very tender, very flavorful. Broccolini was a bit like, almost like asparagus. You know how asparagus is very fibrous? Oh yeah. So that's what it tasted. It was the broccolini was my least favorite part of the dish. Also, one of the, there was two different sauces. One was green and one was brown. The brown was really good. I don't know what the green was, but I think the green one was cold and the brown one was hot, which was weird because everything else was hot except for one sauce. I would probably order it again. It looked really good. Yeah. All right, now for dessert. The gingerbread boy has a hidden Mickey belly button. And also, is that his mouth or his nose? Now that I've said it's his nose, you can't unsee it. <laughs> we are just getting ready for the fireworks. Oh man, I hope that it's something amazing. We'll find out soon. So we just saw some fireworks go off. Started five minutes early. They're catching us off guard. Wonder where that was. Maybe that was from off the castle. Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh, here we go. I like how random this is. Oh, well, that was nice. You Wait. know what they might be doing? What? They might still be filming for the Christmas special. Oh, that makes sense. That, that makes more sense. And they're just like, you know, like setting them off in time with somebody saying something. Like they're saying their lines and like, the happiest place on earth. Pew, fireworks. So we asked on Instagram what people thought this might be for. A lot of people said New Year's, but none of the parks will be open. 
Yeah, so the ma- latest the park is open, the Magic Kingdom's open until 11 on New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody else said that the last time that they were testing, quote unquote, testing fireworks was for Jordan Fisher's wedding. Yeah, so who's getting married? Who's getting married? Oh! Big ones in the background, too. Ooh. Ooh. Also, Astro Orbiter is running right now. Interesting. Because that wouldn't just run. Somebody would have to have turned it on. Oh, here we go again. little ones and two big ones. So this is very interesting because they're doing all sorts of different combinations together. Small fireworks, big fireworks, and then small fireworks and big fireworks together. Not off the castle just yet though. So it kind of feels like they're doing some sort of something. So Astro Orbiter stopped running. All of the lights are on on Main Street though, which I feel like those are on no matter what. Like even if they weren't testing fireworks, they would still have all the lights on Main Street on. I don't know. This is pretty interesting. Wonder what it's for. Cause it's definitely not like a full show that's happening. All right, so we watched fireworks. You know what, honestly, like it was great. Yeah. It really, I loved it. It was awesome. It was I, fun. And I think that it, it, like, I hope that it's for something, like I hope that something is coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I was, I posted about it on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys were like, oh, it's for New Year's. Like, I think it's for New Year's, which I don't know for sure if that makes sense because like we said, the parks are going to be closed before midnight. So I don't know if they would do that kind of a thing for the surrounding hotels to be able to see. That doesn't make sense to me. But then some of you said that it was testing for, um, maybe they're filming something, which is what you said. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's for the Christmas special. And then some of you said that it was for timing of another show. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Right. But I'm just glad that we got to see it. Interesting. It's really interesting, yeah. I'm just happy to be here. But hopefully you enjoyed seeing this little fireworks show. And hopefully you enjoyed our our little trip into Disney to see the castle lit up on Main Street. We saw fireworks there, too. I know. That was so fun. They scared me. I know. (laughs) Today was just an amazing day. Getting to stay here, we've never stayed here. This is great. I like it. I really like this room. I like this. I like this room. I like the view. Like I'm looking at Cinderella Castle right now. I know. I can't believe out the window. We're so close. Like literally, I do feel like we could touch Space Mountain. Space Mountain is like right there. Yeah, I I think we will book this. You know, not. I don't know if we book this particular room again. I think you can request a room number. Okay. So this, in case you wanted to know, like because of the view that we have this is room 8226 Mm -hmm. so if you are looking for this exact view 8226 but i think once fireworks come back i'm gonna book one of these rooms yeah so that we can watch the fireworks from here like happily ever after i feel like then the prices are gonna go way up probably because right now we got a pretty great deal as you know because you're there are no fire no fireworks and we got the florida resident deal right but i imagine when things go back to normal the prices will not be this great Probably not. So <laughs> I'm glad that we could take advantage of it now, you know? Yeah. But all in all, it was a fantastic day. Yeah, this was like the best day. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I'm excited for tomorrow. Me too. Yay. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to help. help. So today's organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on is called One Simple Wish. And we wanted to thank Kathleen Dinopoli for leaving a comment telling us about this organization. One Simple Wish allows you to grant wishes for children in the foster care system or who have aged out of the foster care system. Over 500,000 kids spend time in foster care each year. Over 100,000 kids are still waiting to be adopted. And over 22,000 young people age out of the foster care system without forging permanent and stable connections. Through One Simple Wish's wish granting platform, you can send some love to a child who needs it. When wishes come true, kids not only have a chance to just be kids, but they can also make important connections, experience new things, and find their passion. So we hope you'll check out the link in the description down below to learn more about One Simple Wish and the important work that they're doing 
uh, to impact kids and teens in the foster care system around the country. And thank you so much for watching today's video.